<laughs> if you're planning to catch the Boston Symphony Orchestra over the next few days, you're in for quite a treat. And if you haven't seen them before, now might be just the time, because from Thursday to Tuesday, 18-time Grammy Award winner Yo-Yo Ma, he'll be the featured cellist in a program featuring Mozart, Strauss, and the American premiere of a BSO co-commissioned work by Jorg Widman. If it seems like I'm stalling, by the way, I am, while they get into their seats. But it looks like they're ready now. Boston Symphony Orchestra music director Andres Nelson's and world-renowned cellist and local kid, also founder and artistic director of the Silk Road Ensemble, Yo-Yo Ma. It's great to see you, Yo-Yo. It's, it's great to see you, Andres. The most important question everybody wants to know, Yo-Yo, is when the president of GBH, John Abbott, stepped on your cello a minute ago, how did it feel? What, you mean after I told him not to step on it? After you told him not to <laughs> What is that, 1700? Yeah. And, when was the cello made? It's 1712. But it basically shows me that nobody ever listens to me. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, what's it like to play with him? Can I just tell you, we had a rehearsal this morning, and Andres Nelson's is the most fun, deep, and communicative conductor. He makes you relax. He tittles your imagination, meaning like he compared notes to sausages today. <laughs> He talked about, he talked about, you should f f play this phrase, it's as if you were in a jacuzzi. Now, how cool is that? <laughs> and then he said, you know, there's a chord. He says, this chord, you have to play this chord because this sets this next stage so that you have to play, think about this next. And we're all in amazement because we're laughing and people talk back to him you know he says you have to look at me so and it says will today yeah, yeah. it says, says do i have to look at you <laughs> so now it's your turn fine. arguably the greatest cellist on the planet what's it like having him next to you he is the greatest cellist on the planet no, that's, that's, that's <laughs> well, no it's his turn yo yo okay and uh, well, and, and uh, you know i I have a great honor to, to be with the, with the great greatest legend, you know. I, uh, and and it's so and it's it exactly it's so fun to make music because because when when I'm together with Yoyo and we make music, it's it feels like he's he's like a child. I'm sorry to say so. Yeah. So curious. So everything is so so fresh and everything Which is exactly is, how I see you, by the way, and you I, know, I mean and, that as a compliment. But, but that's the essence of making music, is that you have to have the imagination of a child to play with anything that comes your way, and you're yeah. free with that enough so that it actually allows everybody to be in that same space. Can you, That's what music making is. You've, you've offered to play, which is thrilling for everybody, but before you do, Strauss's Don Quixote, I would like to think you picked it because we all want Don Quixote de la Mancha to come down to earth and rescue us. Is that part of the motivation or is it just because you love the music? You tell me. How did you pick, how did you pick this? Well, we, we have a wonderful, <laughs> the, best, the best Don Quixote in cello, on cello. And, uh, we, and, I, and actually also, I think there is some sim sim symbolism as well. I mean, what happens in the world and yeah. what we really need. I mean, the dreams and, and uh, destroyed dreams and and we all are kind of dreamers. We're all Don, Don, Don Quixote, I think, in a certain sense. And then, and, and at some point, we come and we dis get are being disappointed, and uh, we're all fighting with the with the how you say these the windmills, the windmills. And I think there's quite philosophic, philosophic, and quite symbolic. I, I find I find it's it's very d dramatic and very tragic. Maybe. In Strauss' time, this piece was not as dramatic, but nowadays it feels. Oh. Today, Steve Ansel, who, Ansel, who is playing oh. this, he was in tears. You know, he was in tears, and it was. It felt so. It's like last time playing this this Dulcinea theme, which which Yoyo plays just magnificently, and 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 you know, it's the tears, and and I think it's connected because of what happens to, today in life. How also, what how great the music is and how great the performers are. It's all. It was very emotional. I, no, I'm just, it, you know, I'm sorry. It's, <laughs> no, it's funny. I, I it's, totally agree with you. It, I feel this is a piece for the moment because it's every man, every woman's piece. Mm -hmm. None of us l l go through life without having dreams, mm -hmm. and and then, but we have to match our dreams 
with reality constantly. And and when he at the death scene, mm -hmm. when he faces reality, there still is that poignancy and aspirational thing that it was worth it. Mm -hmm. It was worth it. It was worth it. Can you answer our dreams and you're going to play? Yeah. Well, a you know, it, I, I, of I, I, I would love to kind of show some of these moments because this is a piece that that which Andres conducts so magnificently and it's <laughs> it's all in the note in the music. So, you know, the theme, my theme <laughs> Orchestra plays, flute plays, right? And then, but... Is sort of my theme I share with the violins, with the cello, but we also go when we attack the sheep. Yes. There is a the whole cello session goes... You know? And then, and then you started going... <laughs> the trumpet play, <laughs> trumpet play, you know, the so-called frullato, and then... You know, it's so and you know, and it's it's hilarious it's because hilarious. because you really feel Don Quixote is charging at the sheep. But the poignant moments, you know, when in the beginning when the oboe plays, a, that's the dulcinea. And and then this comes back when at night. They're talking about what things are like, and then suddenly he gets the vision of this. I don't know whether this is the plays. Mm -hmm. Steve Ansel is just here. because it's it's this vision that you are always going towards, and it's you know, So you have the grossest elements, mm -hmm. you know, the really charged, the 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 testosterone moments. Mm -hmm laced with these yeah. moments of incredible magic. Do you mm -hmm. prepare for, when you are playing a character, and that's accurate in this, you are Don Quixote here, are you not? Well, yeah, you, you have to not, be in mm -hmm. character. Do you prepare differently than you're playing, I don't know, a Bach cello suite or something, when you're, I don't mean just playing the music, when you're playing the music? Well, did you read Cervantes, state. for example? Yes, absolutely. You did, yes. in preparation. Oh, absolutely. You do. But it's not reading Cervantes, it's like, how do you, what, what do we, all need to do to get into your role as Jim Buddy, mm -hmm. as you know, doing your show. What do you do? We all have to train. I think the professional part is to get into the state of mind mm -hmm. that you need to. For example, the whole introduction, this huge introduction. I'm listening to this, and I'm sort of like Don Quixote, reading his books and sort of getting more mm -hmm. and more into mm -hmm. the what is happening. Sure. And then it gets into my mind. I can't get it out of my mind. And then today you asked, you asked everybody to just hold on to the notes as long as, so that it's, it's that energy that forces me to come in finally. Okay, I am now going to change the world being... That mm -hmm. you prepare that, and you make me get into the role, and that's what's so amazing. Mm. Can I? Oh, my goodness, <laughs> yo yo! I want to pick up on something that uh, Andres said a few minutes ago, which is not unlike what he said about the power of music in the past in this world. You wrote something for the World Economic Forum that I read the other day. You said something. My job, and I'm paraphrasing, as a, as a musician, is to seed hope. What, is it, what does that mean? What were you trying to say? Well, because, as you can see, I don't do anything useful. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really... You know, what, what but, it, but what, what does that mean? I, I don't, I've, I've always tried to figure out what is our job. What's the job of a musician? And what is your job? And, and I think that... Well, you have to tell us, too. But I think humans invented everything around us. Language, mathematics, science, astronomy, architecture, music, for a particular reason. And I think the reason is to actually to get us to survive, to give us a chance to have an evolutionary advantage. And so, so if that's true, then what I think music, for me, is created as a service. 
You agree with that? Mm-hmm. You do agree with that, Andres? I don't do you? agree. Yeah, I, I do agree that, that yeah, the music is a, it's a, it's a service and it's. Now I breathe and I, I feel that without music you, I can't, I, I wouldn't be able to breathe because this is this brings me personally and I think everyone that the, as the aim is that we infect everyone in the audience to have the same feeling that you, there are moments where you just. You need to listen to, to, to music because that gives you like oxygen and it's like a food for, for the soul. It, it really, it physically, you, you, after this rehearsal I feel I didn't want, didn't want even to eat sashimi after that. I was, I was, I was, that, full, that bad, huh? it was fulfi- <laughs> I was ful- fulfilled with the music, you know, that, that's what it gives, it gives a fulfillment and, um, but it is a mission as well and the serving, it is kind of that feeling. I, I think for service, Good. what you do is a service. What GBH does is a service. I think what we do in music is a service in that when you play a piece of music, if, whether it's a pop song or a classical piece or whatever, if it hits, if it really mm-hmm. completely resonates with somebody, it's as if you were a child and a teacher said, I know who you are. You identify somebody. You know who I am? Yes, and kid, you can do better. I can, you know. It's like it, it's it's this magical thing that when you're identified, Speaking you've of got magical, a life. You too. I cannot wait till Saturday night, Andres. Mm. It's a pleasure it's to great, see you. Great, great, yo, yo, thank you so much. And by the way, if he damaged that, we'll just buy you a new one. Okay, so fine. Big <laughs> I just poured some water on it. it doesn't matter. <laughs> so you can catch the Boston Symphony Orchestra featuring Yo Yo Ma live starting tomorrow night. They have shows tomorrow, Saturday, and Tuesday at eight. Plus, this Friday at 1.30, you can find much more information online at bso.org.